In this video we head to Austria, which in real life was the very first race after the whole Covid thing, but it's round 11, it's a very good track, what can we do this weekend, let's get into it shall we. <laughs> So into qualifying we go and this is our very first lap and it's very scruffy because we just hit so much traffic coming into the final sector. In theory could have got a bit of a tie but they're both just sat there, that's our teammate Guanyu Joe and I think that was the Williams of George Russell as well, just kind of, just I don't even know, just sitting about waiting, I don't know why they're going that slow. It's like watching Q3 in Italy, which at the time of this recording had literally just finished. So, a little bit of a coincidence that one, but this we went again, same tyres, and we stay P11, so we improve our lap time, but not enough. This is our final run then at the end of Q1 and we have found two tenths of a second but there's time to find through turn 10 now into turn 11 rounds the final corner we go up to the line we've lost a tenth and it's not going to be a good qualifying but we do get into Q Q2 so it was a decent lap in the end I didn't think it was that good to start with but we're out of Q1, which is good, into Q2, so let's get into it, so the sun very much out, it's supposed to be much different conditions tomorrow in the race, it's meant to rain for pretty much the whole thing, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, our first run in Q2, put the sixth, we're currently sitting in P12 though as we come to the end of the session. We have found just under four tenths of a second. We're a little bit wide though. And we cross the line and it's only going to be P12 briefly for about a second there. We were P11 but we're out of Q2 and outperformed the car. Our car seems to do really well around these sorts of tracks. We did really well at Calendar. Calen Canada which is a bit of a track like this but let's get into the race where you can see it is chucking it down. Grand Prix of the championship except the very first back in 1964. It was at this race that John Watson lost a bet and his beard when he took Team Penske's only F1 victory in 1976. If anything, the stakes are even higher today with 25 points available for victory and a crucial advantage in the championship fight. It's a short lap here in Spielberg with just 10 corners, seven rights and three lefts, making up the total distance of 2.6 miles. And expect to see a lot of cars running wide today, especially through the last corner as the wet conditions make the cars skittish through the downhill sections. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fence starts from pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Verstappen, Alexander Albon and Ricardo, Perez, Sainz, Ocon and Roman Grosjean. Brown, Giovinazzi, Charles Leclerc, they've taken a grid penalty and Stroll, Kvyat, Norris, Kevin Magnussen and Nicholas Latifi. Russell, Raikkonen, Joe, and Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot today. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So with a penalty then we operated one place into P11. And you can see how bad the conditions are. Maybe thought of the Inters, but no, it's way too wet. You can see only really right at the end of the race it's going to clear up. But most of this race is going to be heavy, 
heavy rain. But we'll see what we can do. It's one of these races that um gonna have to keep our concentration as the five red lights come on and they are out and it's Mercedes. Everyone gingerly away as that everyone always is at a wet start. This is how it should be in real life, but real life conditions we probably won't have a safety car. We made a good start. We nearly hit the back of the red bull there of Max Verstappen, but we've still got a good start. But just behind the Renault of Daniel Ricciardo have gained quite a few positions heading up the hill and now we are going to send it down the inside of the Red Bull we're now on the back of the Ferrari both Red Bulls in fact we have got now as we head down the straight and just try and fight and follow the tyre tracks there because it is so wet so difficult to get the power out of the corners and just to find the traction skipping on though to lap two and you can see the two Mercedes just pacing away it is Bottas ahead of Hamilton and we're side by side now with the Red Bull of Alex Albon we defend Albon round the outside he has to give that one up and we stay in P4 would you believe in this race as we head up the hill this is a replay of the start and it was a good start and you can literally see the visibility is is non-existent and I couldn't see a thing I couldn't see Albon at all we do actually touch the back of him luckily we didn't pick up any damage but you will see that we have a very worn engine you can see there that it's yellow so hopefully that doesn't affect us too much as in this replay we're head up the hill and there's a giant dive bomb getting three cars into one corner and also picking up a warning for causing a collision but we don't care about that we're into p4 and we're still p4 towards the end of lap two but we'd really struggle especially around this part of the track you can see how much time we've lost as we go off the track we're going trundling across the grass and now down our inside goes alex out goes Max Verstappen, we defend Verstappen to the outside, but we've gone too far wide. Verstappen goes wide and we sneak back up the inside of him and keep P4. We just got the better traction, bit of understeer there by looks of things by Max Verstappen and we just wait, wait for the moment, wait for Max to go wide, sneak it back up the inside. We really got good traction off that final corner, but Max isn't one that can take things lying down he will not give up and he's on our outside again this time he's going to try to round the outside we squeeze him out we're off the racing line though so it's going to be hard for us to find traction Verstappen though still there he's following us trying to break the toe but he isn't going to be able to try anything into this corner turn four and he is going to have to settle for another lap staring at our gearbox and you can see here it's a couple of laps later we've actually found some pace but you can see here every lap it was this corner we had a good gap and then just coming through there just lost the, the exit but here we go through the kink and this was actually the changeover point onto the intermediate tyres and Verstappen getting past as we went a little bit wide we just carrying way too much speed but into the pit lane we will put on the intermediate tyres and we will see what we can do in this race now it's going to be hard to keep the Red Bulls behind us especially as it gets drier as well because our pace in the wet we proved that races past like our, our race pace in the wet seems to be really good the qualifying pace as well Especially as there's a yellow flag and that is Lance Stroll and Lance Stroll here is out again He retired last time out at the French Grand Prix back to back DNFs for the Canadian But the most frustrating thing is we just exited the pits Same pretty much last time out at the French Grand Prix as well But Lance Stroll seems to have something with us every time we come out of the pits he retires but why couldn't have that happened literally 10 5 seconds 10 20 seconds before 
but and now this is gonna allow Ricardo and Albon to undercut us here because of course we've got to do safety car speeds that they haven't in the pits so Daniel Ricardo and Alex Albon need to see us we're coming round turns one now and you'll see in a minute that they are miles up the road from us and but there they are beating us out and the safety car the sake of literally a couple of seconds has cost us two positions in this race it's going to be Valtteri Bottas who kicks it off again here not really too much to show you under the safety car we're just kind of managing the tyres really trying to keep those temperatures up because if the, if the wet tyres fall out of their optimum range it's very hard to get life back into them and you can see our front tyres are very very cold you can see they're both blue they're that cold and we're on the back of Ricardo who Ricardo was really struggling um, on the intermediate tyres which is really frustrating because I could never get close enough to make the move I was always in that gap where I just couldn't go for it but this time I was, we got the job done I was a bit closer we go down the inside though but he cuts his back as we went deep Ricardo last of the late breakers but we are going to go down the inside he tries to defend round the outside he's still there but he has to give that position up and now he might lose out to Sergio Perez and he does in fact lose out to Sergio Perez Perez was kind of all over the back of us while we were all over the back of Danny Ricciardo and after the race this is Kimi Raikkonen Kimi Raikkonen is out and that's two DNFs in this race that wasn't spray that was indeed engine smoke there's no safety car for that we're into P6 and this is where our pace kind of fell away and uh and we really started to struggle the engine came back into play with how kind of poor and how worn it was as we pit to go onto the dry tires now we were one of the first to make the switch it, it really kind of the track was wet and then maybe like maybe like one in within one lap it changed and yeah, the, what, the intermediate tyres were definitely not the right ones, so we're going to go on to the mediums, which I thought at, at the time was a good thing to do, because I wanted to try and get to the end of the race. But as you can see here, we come out in last place, that's because everyone in front of us is on the intermediate tyres, so can we still maybe beat out Daniel Ricciardo but the answer is no and we've lost out to Carlos Sainz as well and everyone around us has gone onto the soft tyres but we're on lap 20 those soft tyres could only do around 8 laps so they will have to pit again so if we can keep the pace up keep some tyre life we could be on for still a decent result we've got the Alfa Tauri of Pete Gasly I believe that is all over the back of us we get a poor exit the soft tires very much the tires to be on as he sails round her outside but we're not gonna let him through that easy and we do retain that position and now the Alfa Tauri has the Ferrari all over the back of him we have another poor exit and here he comes again the straight line speed he can't do anything though but we run a little bit wide there and now here comes the Alfa Tauri of Pierre Gasly heading down turn one gonna go down our inside but we're gonna do try and at least do the cutback but we've gone wide we've lost out to the Ferrari as well no, we've somehow stayed up in front of the Ferrari we did go very wide there we're still side by side with Alvatari we squeeze him and the Ferrari trying to get round our outside we're gonna let Pig and Pig Gasly go deep we tried to do the switchback but we had to settle for it because he did break incredibly late we're still side by side it's a great battle but eventually I think we are going to have to admit defeat to the Frenchman we tried everything to stay in front but he eventually he did get the job done now we have the Ferrari I believe that is Charles Leclerc all over our gearbox as we go wide and just look, open the door for the Monegas and he is passed and now Sergio Perez down our inside these medium tyres 
very much not the tyre to be on as Sergio Perez has a bit of a twitch and that's allowed us to get back alongside the pink Mercedes and we do retain that position. Sergio Perez is still there though, we're going to go to the inside, we're going to force him wide but he gets the exit and now we're going to have to tuck in the slip dream, we will have the DRS, do we go inside or outside? We're going to go outside as we head down towards turn 4, we're going to try and go around the outside, Sergio Perez giving us no easy option there and we actually clip the grass and the curb as well, the curb really dragging us onto the grass as we've hit the gravel, we've gone wide, we've hit the gravel and now Antonio Giovinazzi has gone through, this has been a horrendous lap for us and now we might lose another position to the Haas of Roban Grosjean, but we do defend Grosjean, we've gone a little bit wide and we might even go wide again but we do keep that but that was a big mistake to let Antonio Giovinazzi through really kind of frustrating one as well and it's, th th this race has really come alive in the second phase of it and compared to the start we were really just kind of managing trying to keep it out the barriers here comes Roman Grosjean down our inside we're going to let him go wide sneak back up the inside but it's Grosjean he ain't going to do that he just wants to take me out but there was slight contact we still managed to get back up the inside of the Frenchman we're going to force him the long, long way around. We're going to squeeze him out and we do retain that position. But now out of nowhere, I believe that is Pierre Gasly. No, it is um, the Russian of Daniel Kvyat. I think he's made a stop. He's managed to get past Roman Grosjean somewhere. Now he's all over the back of us. Can we defend this AlphaTauri a bit better than we defended the other AlphaTauri? He's all over the back of us, but into turn one, down or inside, we're going to let him go wide, we're going to sneak back up the inside, it's had a big wobble on the exit of turn one, and now it's just a drag race up the hill, we can see how worn our engine is there, as we head up the hill we do defend that position, but one lap later we go a little bit wide, Kavia back up our inside, can he do it, can, we, can he get the job done this time? We're going to wait for him yet again to go wide, but this time it doesn't have the wobble. He's clean through turn one. But we do have DRS overtake mode on, and we have the slipstream to go back down the inside of Daniel Kvyat, squeeze him out, and we do retain what is P12 in this race. There is, in fact, the two stoppers. That's Daniel Ricciardo. We've gained a little bit on the on the Aussie man heading up the hill. He's on fresh soft. We're on ward mediums. We're gonna go round the outside. We're gonna let him go wide. Try and sneak back up the inside. He's had a poor exit. We'll have DRS. We'll put the overtake mode on. But that Renault too quick on those new soft tyres. We are in P8, so some of us have pitted as well. We're on lap 30 and just look at the weather clear skies is up the inside of us probably should look to the track as Charles Leclerc goes down our inside and demotes us down into P9 but if you so showed someone if, if they started watching the, the race from here you would not think that it was chucking it down and full wet tyres at the start of this race just 32 laps ago here though Pierre Gasly for P9 this time we're going to fight him a little bit more. This is two points up for grabs. We squeeze out the Frenchman. We know what had happened last time. He won round two. I am absolutely certain we can win round two. He tries again into turn three. We're going to force him the long way round. He has to back out. And he might have even lost the position there to the, uh, to, to the other Alpha. The Alpha Romeo, I think it is. And he's side by side now. They're both there. I think he's still trying to go around the outside. I think it might be Antonio. It's got to be Antonio Giovinazzi. As we go wide. Pierre Gasly now is going to have a run. As we head up the hill. 
we try and squeeze Pierre Gasly out, we're going to have the line is too far back, and now he makes a small mistake as he's gone so tight into turn one. Antonio Giovinazzi is going to have a run on him here as they go up the hill, and Antonio has got the job done before they even get to turn three. And Pierre Gasly, if he wants to try and get us, he's going to have to re-overtake the Italian the all Italian outfit in the Italian car and here comes Giovinazzi he's on the back of us as we go on to lap 35 or 36 Giovinazzi to the inside of us we go back down the inside how many times have we pulled that move off in this race but we do get the position from Antonio Giovinazzi and now Antonio Giovinazzi has been overtaken by Pete Gasly, Pete Gasly, back round our inside, we back tyres. Pete Gasly still there around our outside. We're going to send it again to the inside. There's no way he's winning this fight. As we do defend, he's still there though. He's still there. This is the battle for P10, for P9. We're going to all over the back of him. But he does a great job defensively. And it looks like Pierre Gasly has a one out again over us. We have a poor Rexy, he is gone. And now onto the final lap. This is the race for a single point. Antonio Giovinazzi down our inside. We bang tyres with the Italian. We go off the track. We're still in P10. We are fighting for our lives. We are fighting for a single point. Where is this man? Valtteri Bottas gets, makes it three out of three and gets 25 points in the race. It's the Red Bull of Max Verstappen of him. Um, Alex Alban coming home for P2, I think that is. Lewis Hamilton, P3. And we now are still fighting Antonio Giovinazzi. Run the final part of the track, and Gio's got a run on us. We've really squeezed him to the inside. We're going to have to defend to the outside. Gio loses out to Sergio Perez, and well, well fought for a single point in this race. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. So Mercedes have won it and what a great race it was. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, they played the safety car to absolute perfection. There are so many factors to worry about once the race is neutralised. I mean, do you pit for fresh rubber? Do you have the space behind you? How much fuel can you save? If you answer all of those questions correctly, you'll have a good chance. And that's exactly what happened today. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. Well, what an Austrian Grand Prix that was. So much action. You're dropping like a stone. The engine didn't help. There was probably more to offer. A bit like Canada um, in that sense. But the engine held us back. And, but we still got points. We still got to be, I mean, that one point is pretty much the equivalent of a win when you think how much we fought for it, especially on that last lap. We are now... P11 in the driver's standards, so slap bang in the middle everyone. We are just five points behind Alpha Tari, so that battle with Pierre Gasly was a bigger one than it kind of seemed at the time. We are leading the rivalry over Daniel Kvyat, and we have level of acclaim that went up last time out at the French GP, and we have a total acclaim of nine of level nine. We get both of our sponsor bonuses, nearly 700k, no um, outgoings from car damage, so that puts us on 4.2 million pounds then, but now 
we've got to renegotiate our sponsors and although you probably think that we should probably get some new ones I mean at the, the money is still good like we just got 600k um, so we're going to resign both sponsors and for me there's always that there's always that kind of realism as well because you wouldn't see teams change sponsors pretty much every week so to keep a sponsor the same for majority of the season I think is a bit more kind of probably not sensible but it's realistic and that's kind of the kind of what I like at least um, I like to keep things realistic um, one of the upgrades failed on the engine side so we will redo that and we will also do another upgrade on the chassis side as well as the basins to do um, both of the majors you can see there in the end I went for this bottom one and the next video it's time to renegotiate our teammates contract but we will do that in the next video if you have enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you for my home grand prix at silverstone